All right, so our teaching point here now, uh, the second part is at opposite angles are called vertical angles. They are congruent. Look at the use of the comma. Right after congruent, I'm going to explain what that means. Congruent means equal in measure. Mr. Kim, what is opposite angles? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are they? Okay. Yeah, what are they? Yeah. Okay, let me show you. Let me first number the angles in clockwise fashion. I've numbered my angles. One, two, three, four. They all have names. Sergio, can you see the answer in my colors? Yeah. yeah. Now do you get it? Yeah. Opposite angles are those that do not, do not have a side in common. <laughs> one and angle two are next to each other. One and angle four are next to each other. Both of them have sides in common. But angle one and three have nothing in common. Just a vertex in common. Get it? Therefore, one and three are equal or congruent. I want to show you some math symbols. When I want to show congruence, I say this, angle one is congruent to angle three. That's an equal sign with a little enya, or that little wave. I don't know what that little squiggly line is called, but it's really cool. <laughs> okay, there's a name for it in Spanish, I believe. Sitting? What is it? I don't know. I don't know either, but <laughs> like in España, in Niña, you know, you use this little squiggly thing right over the end. So angle one is congruent to angle three, and in blue, angle four is congruent to angle two. Okay? What this means is they are equal in measure. So here's my protractor. Oh no. Okay, I, I don't know how to do this. But when I use my protractor to measure, angle one is going to be equal to angle three. So this is going to disappear. I'm sorry about that, but that's just how it goes. Here we go. I'm going to drop the vertex right there. Perfect. And I'm going to measure angle 1. This was angle 1. So from here to there is about 135 degrees. So this is 135 degrees. If that's the measure of angle 1, what's the measure of angle 3? Same. Lo mismo. This is going to be 135 degrees. Cool? Cool. Cool. Okay. I'm going to move my protractor. I'm going to ask you this question. Can you find for me the measure of angle 2 and angle 4 with only one hint? Here's your hint. Angle 1 plus angle 2 are supplementary. Figure out for me what angle 2 is. Go ahead and you can use your neighbor. You can talk to your neighbor. Chris, you're screaming the answer to me with your lips, so what is angle 2 equal to? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Angle 2 is 45 degrees. Now, I kind of led you guys with a big hint. I told you 1 and 2 are supplementary. Supplementary means adding to 180 degrees. I wrote that here on the side. So if 1 is 135, the missing angle is 180 minus 135. And when you do that subtraction, you get uh, 45 degrees. I have another question. What is angle 2 then? I'm, I'm sorry, what is angle 4? <laughs> by what law or by how do you know that? Because they're the same on the These two are congruent, 
So angle four is 45 degrees as well. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Here's another reason why. Angle three and angle four are supplementary, meaning they add up to be 180 degrees. Yes, which equals all the way around 360. Oh. You want?